I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Just can't wait to, to hit the hay. Me too. You know, it's a good thing that most people sleep at night because that's when they really need a lot of rest. Yeah, that's when... <laughs> good night. Good night. Brad. Yes, sir. You got a wild one, honey. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Honey, you'll never miss it. It's hanging right I, down. I, 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 look, 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 look. If you pluck your own eyebrows, just leave mine alone, huh? Hey, if you want to look like a slob. <laughs> oh, boy. Hardly wait to get to sleep. I got a hard day in court tomorrow. Me too. Of course, I won't be in court. I'll be at the ladies' club. Tomorrow's a choral group rehearsal. Well, if you girls don't sing any better than you did last year, you'll all wind up in court for disturbing the peace. Don't be funny, bro. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. As a matter of fact, Mr. Rutledge, our conductor, said that we stand a very good chance of winning the citywide competition this... <gasps> <laughs> Let's get some sleep, huh? <laughs> what was that? Uh, what was what? That sound. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Well, I did. There it goes again, Brad. Uh, uh, Joan, for goodness sakes, what is it? Well, I don't know. Didn't you hear it? No, I didn't. Must be my snoring. You always hear it, and I never do. Sleep, <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Bad. Just listen, and you'll hear it. <laughs> now, don't tell me that you didn't hear it that time. Yes, 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 dear, I heard it. It's a sound made by a loose manhole cover. That noise is made every time the front and rear wheels of an automobile pass over. Oh! <laughs> now that the mystery is solved. Let's go to sleep, shall we, dear? Oh. Good night, dear. Look, dear, that noise is made every time an automobile goes past this house. It was there when we moved in here, before we moved in here, for that matter. But I never heard it, and you never heard it until now. We never listened for it until now. <laughs> well, that's just the point. If, if, if you, you see, you listen for it, therefore you hear it. If you don't listen for it, you won't hear it. Honey, you just try it and see if I'm not, huh? Okay, Good night, darling. How do you do? Now, I'd like to report a noise in front of my house. It seems that it's a very busy street, and every time a car runs over this loose manhole cover, it goes kerplunk, kerplunk, all night long, kerplunk, kerplunk, and it's beginning to get on my nerves. I hear it wherever I go, and something has got to be done about it. Spell out this form, please. Thank you. Request for service. In ink, please. In ink?
This is a blotter. Loose <laughs> <laughs> manhole cover. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not our department. Wait a minute, isn't a manhole cover part of a sewer? Theoretically, yes, but since it's on the surface of the street, why, it's out of our jurisdiction. Next window, please. <laughs> What's the matter? Didn't I fill it out right? Well, I suppose so. But that's a sewer department form. We used this one. <laughs> Okay, I'll fill it out. Uh, in ink. Sorry. You'll have to use a pencil. Huh? Well, you'll notice it's a triplicate, and the pen won't work on the carbon paper. <laughs> All right, I'll fill it out in pencil. Uh, you can use a pen for this one. Certificate of residence. Uh-huh, and for this one. <laughs> Statement of ownership. Uh-huh, and for this one, too. Okay, statement of repairs needed, certificate of residence, statement of ownership, affidavit of necessity, waiver of responsibility. <laughs> I'll uh, fill uh, them uh, all. Uh, 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 uh. Let's not forget the summary report. Hall. I haven't got the strength. Believe me, there's nothing under the sun that could possibly make me move right now. <laughs> Practically nothing, dear. Listen, you're just going to have to do something. You're a judge. They'll have to listen to you. Joni, I am only a judge while I'm in the courtroom. I wouldn't dream of using my position to gain any special favors, ever. Is that clear? Yes, dear. Honestly, Joni, I don't see how you can let a little thing like that bother you. Well, it won't anymore. Imagine knocking myself out with all that official red tape when all I had to do was take a big spike and wedge it in between the manhole cover and the frame. <laughs> Boy, that thing wouldn't rattle now if you ran over it with a 10-ton truck. <laughs> oh, here comes Brad, and I don't have dinner nearly ready yet. Oh, Brad! Yeah. <laughs> Brad ran over the manhole cover and blew out two tires. <laughs> What are you going to do? Well, there's only one honest thing to do. I'll have to lie to him. <laughs> Brad's putting the car in the garage. He'll be here in a second. I can't tell him that I was the one that put the spike in the manhole cover and caused him to blow out his tires. What can I tell him? Frankly, Joni, I have a feeling Brad's going to do most of the talking. I also have a feeling I'd better get out of here. Bye, Joni. Bye, Brad. <laughs> Hello, dear. What's new? You uh, have a hard day in court? Of all the incredibly stupid, unbelievably moronic, Fantastic, idiotic pieces, malicious blundering, costing me two brand new tires. I have never in my life seen or heard anything to equal this for sheer imbecility. Now, Brad, calm down before you lose your temper. Uh, before I lose my temper? That's rich. I have to buy two new tires because some simple-minded blockhead takes his bike, drives into the man. Now we're going too far, Brad. Wait a minute, Joni. Don't tell me that you're sticking up the Department of Streets and Highways. Now, after all, I'm entitled. Mm -hmm. Well, I know the man who never bothered you, but they should have fixed it properly. Well, that's what I kept telling them. Oh, but oh no, 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 no! They have to drive a spike, maybe between the manhole cover and the frame. 
How silly can you get? You mean me or they? Tony, even you wouldn't have done such a stupid thing. Oh, I don't know, Brad. It's the kind of a mistake that anyone could make. Uh, yes, but being a moron helps. Well, who are you calling a moron? <laughs> I mean, who are you calling? A moron? I'll get this man out of fixed here. You'll see action. Uh, Department of Streets and Highways, please. Oh, those morons. And at once. Uh, may I speak to the commissioner, please? The head one. Uh, this is uh, Judge Bradley Stevens. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, uh, Commissioner. Uh, this is uh, Bradley Stevens. Judge Bradley Stevens. You see, I have a defective manhole cover in front of my house, and I'd like it fixed and fixed properly. <laughs> oh, you'll take care of it at once. I see. Thank you, Commissioner. Joni, that's what I call getting action. So, you're only a judge in the courtroom, huh? Well, uh, dear, I... I... I only did it for you. <laughs> see, I uh, couldn't stand to see you suffer. Well, you didn't have to bother on my account, Judge Stevens. That noise doesn't disturb me in the least anymore. Uh, we have trouble. I just ran into chorus once, and she says they can't find anyone to conduct the chorus. Oh, don't be silly. There must be dozens. Wouldn't you think so, Beth? <laughs> That's what I thought. But anyone who's any good has been taken by one of the other choral groups for the contest. Oh, gee, that means we don't stand a chance of winning. Not unless we find a capable conductor. Well, you know, uh, oddly enough, the uh, case in court concerns a very well-known musician, Professor Friedrich Gottschalk. He's the conductor of the Berlin Choral Society. Oh, he's the greatest in the whole world. Uh, you've read about him, haven't you? Professor Friedrich Gottschalk of Berlin. Yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, B-E-R-L-I-N. <laughs> oh, he's a fabulous character. He gets a thousand dollars a concert. That's the kind of man we could use if our choral group had a thousand dollars. Which we're just a little short of by about $975. <laughs> Do you think that Professor Gottschalk would reduce his price for us? Oh, not a chance, Joni. You see, this case involves money, and you should see how anxious the professor is to get a judgment. <laughs> Bradley, in view of the fact that, I mean, considering that you... Uh, now, look, Joan, I know what you're thinking, but the answer is absolutely no. I will never use my position to influence anyone. Except sewer commissioners. Well, that was different. That was entirely different. That was a menace to public safety. It was my duty to the public to do it. Well, it's your duty to me to get Professor Gottschalk. Nonsense, Joan. Then I'll get him myself. Dear, I, uh, I cannot forbid you from seeing Professor Gottschalk. But if and when you do, I forbid you to use my name or the fact that you are my wife to influence him. But, friend. No, dear. That's final. Final. <laughs> la, 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 I'm trying to think if you did something right. Now this is the way it should be. Me, 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 me. Come right in and have a seat. Thank you very much, Professor God. John. Try it again, Professor? No uh, more today. Oh. Come back tomorrow yeah. when, my, when my ears have had a chance to... Uh... Oh, yes, Professor. <laughs> I'll be here at the same time tomorrow, then. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. <yeah. laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Ugh, when I think of these singing pupils, when I think of what I have to listen to, when I think of these horrible noises. Then why do you do it? I also think of the $20 an hour they pay me. Well, that'll buy a lot of earmuffs. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, young woman, let's get to the reason of your visit. Well, I belong to a choral group, and we're entered into a very big contest. 
Welcome to my section. And uh, uh, we'd just love to have you conduct our we can't afford to pay you a thousand dollars. We can't afford to pay you a thousand dollars. We can pay you a thousand dollars. All we can pay you is twenty five dollars a week. Twenty five dollars. Well, uh, Professor Scott we girls are just dying to win this contest, and we're sure, with you conducting us, that we can't lose. Oh, naturally. So will you do it, Professor, will you, huh? I am sorry. If your ladies are looking for a bargain, let them go to the department store in the basement. Professor Friedrich Gottschalk is not great merchandise. Well, the girls will just be awfully disappointed. <laughs> My husband will be disappointed, too. <laughs> when I get home, I'll have to say to him, uh, uh, Bradley J. Stevens, uh, Professor Gottschalk turned us down. Uh, that's what I'll have to say. Uh, Bradley J. Stevens, a husband, can't get the professor at all. Wait a minute, did you say Bradley J. Stevens? Why, uh, yes, I believe I did. Judge Bradley J. Stevens, who is hearing my case? Well, I wasn't going to mention that, but as long as you brought it up, yeah. Well, if the judge is your husband, uh, the least I could do is uh, listen to your lady's call. Oh, thank you, Professor. And if they don't insult my eardrums too much, maybe I conduct them and we forget about the money. Huh? Oh, thank you, thank you, Professor. And you'll never regret it, even though you're doing it for nothing. <laughs> oh. <Yes. laughs> For nothing. I regret it already. Oh, oh, oh girls! Uh, girls! 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 Girls, I think we ought to run through our number once more. We want to be absolutely perfect when we sing for Professor Gottschalk. Joni's right. We can't take any chances. Oh, no. He has very sensitive ears and he's very critical. Uh, shall we start again? <laughs> Get in our places. <laughs> Uh, all set? Okay, girl. One, two. The voice is a verse I'll never be. Ha, 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 ha. The bees are buzzing busily. Buzz, 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 the winter winds, oh, how they blow, oh, ho, 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 predicting cold and sleet and snow, ho, 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 ho. The rain that patters joyfully, pitter patter. <laughs> hey, girls, I think it sounds just great. You'll love it. Streets and Highways Department, ma'am. Oh, you're here to fix the loose manhole cover. Yeah, I've got a rush order. Some big shot complained. Oh, well, it'll be a relief to me. <laughs> I just wanted to stop by and tell you that uh, we've got to shut your water off for a while, ma'am. Shut off the water? Uh, just to fix a, a, a manhole cover? Well, it's not that simple. You see, the casing isn't level, and to get at it, we've got to tear up the street. Tear up the street? Oh, no, not now. It'll make such a racket. Uh, yes, you see, our choral group is going to sing for the famous Professor Gottschalk, and he has very sensitive ears, and besides, the manhole cover isn't bothering anyone right now. Now, look, lady, I'd like to oblige, but this is a special order. Now, uh, some crank called up a judge or something, and it's got to be done right away. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, well, if you would... I... How do you do, Miss Judge? Uh, Professor Gottschalk, uh, won't you come in, please? Okay. We've got to hurry and get the audition over before the men start working. Well, I see you are all ready. That's yes. right. We are the girls of the chorus, the uh, singing chorus. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> well, we begin. Where's the music? Oh, here it is, Professor. Aha! Voices of the Earth by Raja Wagner. Do you know it, Professor? <laughs> oh, I know it well. It's a composition of the Fala La variety. It's an allegro conspirito, mit a rubato, 
and the crescendo poco a poco in the coda. That's what I've been telling the girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, uh, well, places, please, ladies. Oh. <clears throat> Now, ladies, I want the sopranos to be staccato, quasi pizzicato. And the alto should maintain a conmoto feeling. But always careful of the poco minomoso. And the whole ensemble should be vivace con fuoco. Is that clear? Oh, yeah, we're hep to the jive, Professor. <laughs> yes. Also, we begin. One, two. The voice of the birth of Beverly. The bees are buzzing busily. Eine Minute, bitte. Und jetzt das Solo. Winter winds, oh, how they blow. Predicting cold and sleet and snow. Hosh, 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 hosh. Gesundheit. The rain that patters joyfully. Oh, 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 oh. The woodpecker pecking in the tree. Silence falls on vale and hill. <laughs> the sounds of earth have all grown still. Still. What a day this has been. Now, look, Joni, for the thousandth time, will you tell me what Professor Gottschalk had to say about the choral group? Well, he said our choral group didn't need a conductor. It needed a foreman. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least some good came out of it. They fixed the manhole cover, and everything is very quiet. Now, go to sleep. Will I? Boy, I may sleep till 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, that's not so late. I mean, the day after tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <I did>. uh, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, what's the matter? I can't sleep. You can't? There isn't a sound. Well, that's just the trouble. Well, Johnny. Uh, well, I got so used to hearing the sound of that manhole cover, I'm afraid I can't go to sleep without it. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I can't go out and tear up the street for you. No, but, Brad, if you just make that noise. Make that? You kerplunk, kerplunk, would oh. you? Please, Brad, I can't sleep. Brad. No, that's not it. Oh, nothing. <laughs> well, that's good, Brad, but that's not it. Oh. That's it, Brad. Just keep that up there. What a mind blowing blind, what a way to do. Here and there, all day she keeps my heart rapping. Never know where her brain has gone. To reach his own. Can't deny that's why I married John. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Seen in tonight's cast were Sig Ruman, Geraldine Carr, Paula Blythe, Don Brody, Robert Jellison, Dick Rich, and Martha Wentworth.